Jail Marat Tanji Dadab Hoy Tata was a French-born Indian aviator and business tycoon. He was the chairman of Tata Sons. He became India's first licensed pilot in 1929. In 1983, he was awarded the French Legion of Honor and, in 1992, India's highest civilian award, the Parat Ratna. Early life, J.R.D. Tata was born on July 29, 1904 in Paris, France, the second child of Ratanji Dadab Hoy Tata and his French wife, Suzanne Suni Briari. His father was a first cousin of Jamsit G. Tata, a pioneer industrialist in India. He had one elder sister Silla, a younger sister Rodabi and two younger brothers Darab and Jimmy Tata. As his mother was French, he spent much of his childhood in France and as a result, French was his first language. He attended the Janssen de Sailly School in Paris. One of the teachers at that school used to call him Egyptian for some strange reason. Tata also served in the French Foreign Legion for one year in the regiment Les Affaires during the Second World War. After he left the service the whole regiment perished on an expedition in Morocco. He attended the Cathedral and John Knun School, Bombay. Tata was educated in London, Japan, France and India. When his father joined the Tata Company he moved the whole family to London. During this time, J.R.D.'s mother died at an early age of 43 while his father was in India and his family was in France. After his mother's death, Ratanji Dadab Hoy Tata decided to move his family to India and sent J.R.D. to England for higher studies in October 1923. He was enrolled in a grammar school, and was interested in studying engineering at Cambridge. Just as the grammar course was ending and he was hoping to enter Cambridge, a law was passed in France to draft into the army, for two years, all French boys at the age of 20. As a citizen of France J.R.D. had to enlist in the army for at least one year. In between the grammar school and his time in the army, he spent a brief spell at home in Bombay. After joining the French army he was posted into the regiment called Le Suffis. Soon the colonel of the regiment found that there was a member of his squadron who could not only read and write French and English, but could type as well. So he assigned him as a secretary in his office. Tata was once again transferred to the more luxurious office of a colonel. After a 12-month period of conscription in the French army he wanted to proceed to Cambridge for further education, but his father decided to bring him back to India and he joined the Tata Company. In 1929, J.R.D. renounced his French citizenship and became an Indian citizen, and started working at Tata. In 1930 J.R.D. married Thelma Vikaji, the daughter of Prince Vikaji, a colorful lawyer whom he hired to defend him on a charge of driving his Bugatti too fast along Bombay's main promenade, Marine Drive. Previously he had been engaged to Dinbai Mehta, the future mother of the economist editor Shapa Karagat. Career, J.R.D. Tata was inspired early by pioneer Louis Bla copyright riot, and took to flying. On February 10, 1929, Tata obtained the first pilot license issued in India. He later came to be known as the father of Indian civil aviation. He founded India's first commercial airline, Tata Airlines in 1932, which became Air India in 1946, now India's national airline. He and Neville Vincent worked together in building Tata Airlines. They were also friends. He joined Tata and Sons as an unpaid apprentice in 1925. In 1938, at the age of 34, J.R.D. was elected chairman of Tata and Sons making him the head of the largest industrial group in India. He took over as chairman of Tata Sons from his second cousin Naraji Saklatwala. For decades, he directed the huge Tata group of companies, with major interests in steel, engineering, power, chemicals and hospitality. He was famous for succeeding in business while maintaining high ethical standards a euro refusing to bribe politicians or use the black market. Under his chairmanship, the assets of the Tata Group grew from 100 million US dollars to over 5 billion US dollars. He started with 14 enterprises under his leadership and half a century later on July 26, 1988, when he left. Tata and Sons was a conglomerate of 95 enterprises which they either started or in which they had controlling interest. 
He was the trustee of the Sir Darabji Tata Trust from its inception in 1932 for over half a century. Under his guidance, this trust established Asia's first cancer hospital, the Tata Memorial Center for Cancer, Research and Treatment, in Bombay in 1941. It also founded the Tata Institute of Social Sciences, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, and the National Center for Performing Arts. In 1945, he founded Tata Motors. In 1948, J.R.D. Tata launched Air India International as India's first international airline. In 1953, the Indian government appointed J.R.D. Tata as chairman of Air India and a director on the board of Indian Airlines a Euro a position he retained for 25 years. For his crowning achievements in aviation, he was bestowed with the title of Honorary Air Commodore of India. J.R.D. Tata cared greatly for his workers. In 1956, he initiated a program of closer employee association with management to give workers a stronger voice in the affairs of the company. He firmly believed in employee welfare and espoused the principles of an eight-hour working day, free medical aid, workers' providence scheme, and workmen's accident compensation schemes, which were later, adopted as statutory requirements in India. He was also a founding member of the first governing body of NCAER, the National Council of Applied Economic Research in New Delhi, India's first independent economic policy institute established in 1956. In 1968, he founded Tata Consultancy Services as Tata Computer Center. In 1979, Tata Steel instituted a new practice, a worker being deemed to be at work from the moment he leaves home for work till he returns home from work. This made the company financially liable to the worker for any mishap on the way to and from work. In 1987, he founded Titan Industries. Jamshedpur was also selected as a UN Global Compact City because of the quality of life, conditions of sanitation, roads and welfare that were offered by Tata Steel. Awards and Honours J.R.D. Tata received a number of awards. He was conferred the honorary rank of Group Captain by the Indian Air Force, was promoted to the Air Commodore rank, and was further promoted on April 1, 1974 to the Air Vice Marshal rank. Several international awards for aviation were given to him a Euro the Tony Janus Award in March 1979, the Gold Air Medal of the Federation Aeronautique Internationale in 1995, the Edward Warner Award of the International Civil Aviation Organization, Canada in 1986 and the Daniel Guggenheim Award in 1988. He received the Padma Vibhushan in 1955. The French Legion of Honor was bestowed on him in 1983. In 1992, because of his selfless humanitarian endeavors, J.R.D. Tata was awarded India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna. In the same year, J.R.D. Tata was also bestowed with the United Nations Population Award for his crusading endeavors towards initiating and successfully implementing the family planning movement in India, much before it became an official government policy. In his memory government of Maharashtra termed its first double-decker bridge as Baratrat and J.R.D. Tata over bridge at Kesawadi Fata, Pune. Death, J.R.D. Tata died in Geneva, Switzerland on November 29, 1993 at the age of 89 of a kidney infection. On his death, the Indian parliament was adjourned in his memory a euro and honor not usually given to persons who are not members of parliament. He is buried at the Parrelaches Cemetery in Paris. See also, R. M. Lala, Jamsitji Tata, Ratanji Dadabhoi Tata, Darabji Tata, References. 15. HTTP, www Tata Central Archives Com Family Tree Family Tree PDF, Bibliography, Pi, Anand. J. R. D. Tata, The Quiet Conqueror. Mumbai, India Book House. ISBN A8175084200 External links Brief Life History of J.R.D. Tata, Lala, R.M. Beyond the Last Blue Mountain, The Authorized Biography of J.R.D. Tata. Viking. ISBN A0-670-84430-6 Mambro, Arvind, Ed J.R.D. Tata Letters. Rupa. ISBN A81 291 0513 6 
Biography at nawindiadigest.com, Biography at Tata.com, Lala, RM Beyond the Last Blue Mountain A Life of J.R.D. Tata. New Delhi, India, Viking. ISBN A9780140169962.